Hey there folks and welcome back. I'm Chris from MyLather.com and today we're going to do a video, a shaving video, face shaving video that is, with uh, Katie's Bubbles Rosé Du Monde and this is the luxury formula. This to me is an underappreciated soap. It's got a really bright citrusy scent. Oh, it smells great to me. Um, I'm not sure what all the notes are but there's definitely lemon, lime, and who knows what else, but it's definitely citrusy. Um, and really, really nice. Underappreciated in my view. We're also going to use the Above the Tide G1. Again, trying to get a few uses in before I send it back to stand. So let's uh, wet the face and on. We'll, we will get going. Stay tuned. All right, and here we go with our Katie's Bubbles Rosé Dubotin, which is a, uh, again, for me, or I feel, a very underappreciated citrus soap. Very good one, great quality, the quality that you expect from uh, Katie's Bubbles. Anything less than great would be a disappointment, and I'm sure I will have no problems today with this soap. Um, one other thing about Katie's Bubbles is it lathers very, very easily. Some soaps start out a little foamy when they lather. Katie's Bubbles does not. Just about from the onset, um, as soon as you start making lather, it's it's great lather. I mean, you can certainly work it into something a little better by adding more water if you want, which I'm going to do here, just add a little bit more. But um, really easy to lather. Um, and magnificent soap, in my estimation, remains my favorite brand. Um, to this day, and a lot of great scents, um, and it comes from a artisan that I feel does things the right way, and uh, that counts for something with me. All right, let's uh, let's get our above the tie G1, and again, this uses the um, old paint scraper type of blade, and this is our third use, and we'll see how we do with it today using a gem blade by the way. Um, and I have to say, this is a good shaver. I have gotten, again, comments about people who are a little concerned about the hook. And I will remind you that uh, when you take this down to take the blade out, you don't have to completely disassemble it. You could just lift off the top cap <clears throat> and um, put the blade in and then screw it back down. So if you're worried about that, um, Maybe that eases some of your concerns. However, it does have an extra part. And uh, if you're working around it around the sink, it, you know, and took it completely apart, you certainly could drop that hook down in the sink. But you could do that with the top cap or, you know, a any razor, really. The, the hook is a little bit smaller, though. Uh, so I understand those concerns. Uh, I just say don't. <laughs> you know, if you're worried about it and you get one, don't... Uh, Disassemble it right over the sink if you don't have a stopper or something in it. All right, excellent first pass. The blade still feels good on that above the tie G1. So let's rinse the face. We'll come back for pass two. All right, here we go. Pass two. Pass one was really nice, no problems at all. Everything felt good. The soap did a great job, which is obviously the expectation. I have, you know, high expectations always for. Katie's Bubbles products. There's my aftershave slipping into the sink, but no worries. The cap is on it. All right. The brush, by the way, is Wolf Whiskers. Um, Melania, I call it. Black Wolf. Not. And we're just about ready to go here for pass... All right. Always getting stuff on my shirt, like Busta. Not quite as much as Busta, because I'm not wearing a collared shirt. If I had a collared shirt, it'd be all over. I'd have to, I'd have stuff all over the place. I'm sure. All right, pass two with our Katie's Bubbles. 
Rosé du Mont. And again, when you uh, use this, at least to start, the angle's a little bit flatter than a DE. And as I've said, if you missed the videos uh, yesterday, Stan's still going to make a couple of modifications. One is on the hook making it mechanism to make sure you put it back the right way and you can't turn it the wrong way. And two is to uh, make that angle a little bit easier for you to find via a little adjustment. I don't know if it was on the base plate or what. I can't recall what he told me, but there will be a few adjustments he told, told me to improve this. So this is, you know, a prototype. And uh, what you see will be a little bit different. Probably won't be noticeable visually. Um, but it will uh, address some of the issues that people have uh, talked about. So that's great. All right. Second pass. Really, really nice. The soap is working great, as is the razor. Stay tuned. We'll come back for pass three. All right. Here we go for pass number three. It's been a really good one so far. There will be a giveaway this week. I haven't announced it yet, but there will be one. I'll probably do that either this evening or tomorrow during the shaves. So be on the lookout for that. And remember, the winter announcements are always will be in the head shaving videos on um, Saturday or Sunday because it you know there's no point in just doing a video to announce. Winners, I've done that, but it's easier just to do it during another video, so I don't have to make another video with just winter announcements. It just makes it a little easier for me, and uh, makes it, you know, also uh, the chances of somebody who regularly watches the content seeing that they won is a little greater if uh, you put it. You know, it's kind of just snuck into a video, although I do write in the comments and giveaway winner announced. Um, I want the giveaways as much as possible to go to regular viewers because you guys are spending your valuable time here every single day, and I appreciate it. But, you know, um, as long as you're watching and see that you won and claim it, then I'll certainly send it to you. Even if it's the first time you've ever watched one, that's okay. You have to start somewhere. Razor feels pretty good, I must say. Um, I don't know if it gives me anything that my one blade doesn't give me because I can use the same blade in my one blade if I ever use, use remove the sponge. But it's a good modern single edge shaver. I can tell you that. Um, not bad at all, and in fact, quite nice. And uh, I talked with Stan about this razor a couple of years ago. I said, you know, no one's made a modern single-edge razor, so it'd be pretty cool. Or a, a modern single-edge razor that uses a gemstone blade, let's put it that way. I said, it'd be pretty cool if you did that. And, well, he's done it. So here it is. And uh, we've gotten a, a nice shave with it the last few days. And... Uh, any concerns I had about that hook has, has uh, I think I've satisfied those concerns um, from using them and uh, haven't had any problem at all. So stays together nicely, does a nice good job shaving above the tie G1. All right, three excellent passes. Stay tuned, we'll come back for the post. And in comes the magic made by which is theirs, which is hazel, excuse me. This one is lemon, very nice stuff. But you see me enjoying every single day here. I'll slap a little bit on the dome as well. Smells good and feels good. All right, as we let that set, quick review. Um, Katie's Bubbles, Rosé du Matin. If you like lemon, lime, citrusy scents, this is a great one. Uh, scent strength, I don't think I called it. I'd call it about a 6.5, a little over medium. Uh, Wolf Whiskers Melania was outstanding. Uh, we used the Above the Tie G1, which uses the old style gem uh, single edge blades. Really, really nice. And today we're going to use a little Panade Lime Sec. Just good old fashioned lime, not expensive. Again, 
we're not elitist here at iLeather.com. We'll use inexpensive stuff, and, and quite frankly, we really enjoy inexpensive stuff. So, I want to thank everybody once again for joining me. Until next time, let's help make the entire world shape great once again.